Swords and Sorceries, Tales of Heroic Fantasy. As you can guess, this is an anthology of sword and sorcery fiction. Um, it is what it says on the cover. And this is actually volume 7 in their series. The thickest one so far, about 350 pages total. And I'm honored to have my story, Prohyrosis, included in this anthology, along with several other great authors. What makes this collection unique compared to some of the others out there is that there's quite a variety of styles of storytelling. If you're someone that likes sword and sorcery from a more feminine perspective, there's a couple stories like that. If you're someone that prefers sword and sorcery from a masculine perspective, it's here too. There's little bits of fantasy, some that are more historically based. It's a pretty good collection, something for everybody. Probably my favorite story in the collection is by Paul Batiger. It's called Unhallowed Tombs. Um, this is a great example of masculine sword and sorcery. Um, the protagonist has uh, selfish ambitions. He balances uh, intellect and cleverness with brawn. And the whole story has a, a really nice, dark, romantic feel to it. I hate to compare someone to another author, but um, Carl Edward Wagner is my favorite sword and sorcery author. And I get a lot of the same vibes from this story as I do from some of those Kane stories of the past. Uh, not to say that it's a ripoff in any way, it's, it's a completely unique story, but it does give me those same sort of feelings. So yeah, Unhallowed Tombs is great. My story is Prohyrosis, like I mentioned before. It's based on the album that I released in 2013 called Prohyrosis. And this album has uh, 13 tracks. Each track is uh, a musical expression of uh, fundamental virtues. In the liner notes of the album, I kind of told a short story about a protagonist uh, who exhibits those 13 virtues. And the story that's in this Swords and Sorceries anthology is basically um, an expansion of that story from the liner notes. The liner notes was just one or two paragraphs. Uh, and this story of mine is uh, 20,000 words. Basically, I took all 13 of the tracks and each track has a devoted chapter. And in the story, the protagonist is uh, raised in an oppressive society where the things that he would consider to be virtues are considered to be sins by the ruling class of that society. So each of the chapters deals with those particular sins. I'm not always the best at describing the stories I write, but to tell you a little bit about Prohyrosis, um, it's got a historic setting. It's uh, set during the beginning of the Viking Age in Eastern Europe, but there's certainly a lot of fantasy happening, especially in the second half. Um, I bring in some elements of Slavic mythology which gives it a bit of a folk horror feeling as well. And then like a lot of the stuff I write, there's, there's multiple layers to the story. I'm not going to go into all of those things with you here, but uh, the underlying theme of this one is essentially uh, willpower and volition in defiance of fate and destiny. That's about all I'm going to say about Prohyrosis at the moment. If any of that sounds interesting to you, check out Swords and Sorceries Volume 7. And if that doesn't sound interesting to you, you should still check it out. Because like I said, there is a bunch of talented authors in this collection. Each story is different from the next. There really is something for everybody. I'll put a link to the Amazon listing in the description of this video. Um, it's available in paperback as well as on Kindle. And I do appreciate you watching. Take care.